All right, everyone, so this video will be on rigging up the Recon 120HD. When you open your pedal drive box, you've got your pedal drive in there, your crank arms, your pin, pedals, bolts for attaching the crank arms, and your attachment hardware for the clips as well. Um, your seat will be in two pieces like this, so we just have to put that together. Uh, and then your rudder is just a pretty straightforward drop it in and attach these. So as I go through, um, I'm also going to be rigging it up. I've got Scotty anchor locks for the front and the back. I'll be installing my Garmin sonar and uh, yeah, just kind of going through. So this is the walkthrough of setting up and then rigging your Wilderness Systems Recon 120 HD. All right, so first we're going to do our rudder. Uh, first thing I'm going to suggest is double check your bolts for your rudder mounting block are good and tight in there. So check both of those out. Take off of your pins here. Take your rubber stops and your connecting rings off. Pretty simple. You drop the rudder in. Take your pin, attach it to the bottom. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. You can see these are coming through number two. So number two is the uh, left-hand side rudder control. The other one is if you were going to run, you've got one that's not run yet. And so that's one and six aren't run. The other ones are the other tubes that are run. When you're installing these, uh, a lot of people will leave the rubber on. It's actually designed, you can see the bit of a shoulder there. It's designed, drop it over the top, rubber ring on the bottom, and then the connector pin. So I'll do that and show you what it looks like. All right, so we have these installed. As I said, rubber on the bottom with the retaining ring, a retaining ring. Once you get that set up, um, what I suggest you do is you raise your rudder up and then there's a set screw on either side of these loosen your set screws off a little bit pull these so that they're tight tighten them back up but not too tight you don't want to cut through the spectra cord once you've got that then you know that your rudder is straight and true so that's installing the rudder uh, i'll start walking my way up next we'll throw the seat together and get it put in the kayak all right so we have the seat installed so you can see the way your bolts go for your bottom with the spacer in it up for the top so that now gives you your seat ready to go next up we're going to be moving on over here to assemble the pedal drive unit so one little tip i have for you is when you are getting your pin ready spread this open a little bit extra and then bend the end of your pin over and that will just make it so much easier put your pin in and out and still be able to easily connect it on so little tip right there to make it easier for pulling that uh, safety pin out all right so we've got the clips installed um, one thing i'm going to mention is when you're installing this you are using stainless steel hardware so don't over tighten it. Uh, if you feel the need to use a drill or anything, I've got a, what is it? The 20 volt max lithium ion DeWalt. I run my clutch on it on a four and that snugs these up enough. These are a lock nut. So they don't need to, you don't need to go absolutely crazy. But again, you don't wanna over tighten it because over tightening it, you can risk stripping it. So next now we're gonna put the pedals on. When you're looking at your crank arms, one is listed as right, one's at left. So make sure that you put that correct. When you do it, your right, you want to be up and your left down. So we're gonna install those now in the pedals and then we'll take another look. All right, we've got the crank arms installed. Be sure also when you're looking at putting your pedals on, they are marked for right and left so make sure you get that so there we have the basic setup 
and now we're going to move into installing the transducer so the transducer uh, for me will be going in the right hand side so I'll show you how to mount that your wire runs up I'll be using the wilderness systems through hole wiring kit to go through here uh, one addition I do have when I install my transducers is because you're just going to have the wire running through here just your split loam fits perfectly into this slot so that'll help cover the wire the whole way up and lock it in so that nothing can actually get in and snag on that wire so i'll get the transducer installed and that will be the next step to show so the transducer is installed using these screws so on both sides of the back you have screws under these scupper holes install your transducer get it all getting tight and you should be able to pivot it up now your transducer will sit up nice and flush under your kayak won't rub against things and now we'll go over to the top and look how I ran the wiring so my wire comes up as I said before I wrap it in split loam so that when it comes through the pad eyes here and here you can see it keeps it nice low profile stops everything from snagging I then install one at the bottom one near the top and the through hull kit from Wilderness. This is drilled using a one and three eighths inch spade bit. From there, I then used a fish wire to bring my transducer wire up to the front. So we'll walk up to the front of the boat now and I'll show you how that is done. So I'm going to bring my wiring up on the right side. Um, it's really hard to tell. I'll try and get in and see if you can see it. In the middle of that is a little star. So that's where you put the center of your spade bit to drill your hole. That's dead center of that. So we'll drill that hole and get the through hull uh, kit running through here as well for the transducer wire and the power wire. Okay, so here I've got the other through hull. Uh, you can see it's got the transducer and the power wire running up. Then what I used is I had some T-bolts. These are the little pieces um, for the rudders. You can kind of see. So I drilled them out and put a thumb screw or a thumb nut on the top put two of those up on there and then it comes up into the back of my head unit and the bonus of doing it this way is when I go to remove my head unit I can undo the wires I can loosen these off and I can then tuck the wires up through and put them into the hatch here and then that way I can take my whole head unit off of my kayak when I'm transporting it so I'm getting pretty close I'll just finish the last little bit of rigging and then we'll do a walkthrough all right so here is the final setup uh, ready to head out for a tournament this weekend coming up for my recon 120 hd by wilderness system so i'll start out at the back um already showed you guys how to install the rudder i've got a scotty anchor lock back here so i'll get my uh anchor set up so i can drop an anchor off the back on this side i've got the scotty ball mount so off of this i run the scotty uh light pole which i then run my flag I showed you guys the install for that on the back I've got my Wilderness Systems crate strapped down. Um, for anybody who hasn't seen the video that I posted before about this, for fishing for pike, uh, fluorocarbon leader material. So what I did is I drilled a tiny little hole in the front. I ran some uh, rudder tubing through there. On the other side, I put just a little piece of foam so that it's holds it tight got a piece of foam with a little nut on the top so I can tighten it up loosen it off so as I need to I can come in and pull my leader material out so that it's stored away nice and neat where I need it when I want it it's not flopping around in my boat move up to the seat uh, I've got a three pouch or three pocket pouch hanging on the side here so I can set stuff into there just you know that those little things that I need I've got one of the retractable uh, lanyards on there are my CUDA jaw spreaders for when I'm pike fishing those I just throw down um, on the anchor line I've got this little chunk of elastic I'll show you why I have that on the other side but it'll be the same for this side uh, I flipped over this on the right side drilled some holes 
put the Scotty mount. So now I've got a Scotty cup holder right next to me for my coffee, for my water bottle. Plus I can just quickly throw hooks in if I'm changing them out. Uh, walk through how I ran the stuff. But so there's the sonar unit nicely tucked in. Up on the bow hatch, I've installed little Scotty tracks here and here so I can actually throw a gear head on here with a camera mount so I can have one looking at me and then one looking out the side of my boat. Up on the front, another anchor lock. So I'm now able to anchor front and back when I'm out on the water. So that's gonna give me that perfect stability when I'm out there. Coming down this side, Scotty quick release gear head. This is the R5 rod holder. So for those who haven't seen it, you open it up, lay your rod into it. As it comes down, it locks the butt of your rod in and can't lift up with this piece in the way. So it's, it's a great little unit. So I'll be using those here for the upcoming weekend. And on that, I threw a set of the slip gears up on the top. Um, as I mentioned uh, quickly, so this side, there's another, uh, that's the plier mount with another retractable lanyard. So I've got my pliers. So this, now you can see I've got it on my line. When I put that and I just give it a tuck underneath there, when I come to the back of the boat, if my rudder kicks up, it pulls the line back down. So that allows you to keep your rudder nice and tight down into the water. So there we go. There is my walkthrough of my Wilderness Systems Recon 120 HD. Hope you guys like it. If you have any uh, questions or comments, just uh, ask them here or go to my Facebook page, Mike Zilkowski Outdoor Adventures, and I'll uh, more than happy answer them there for you.